हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर संदीपा बिस्वास एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द डिमांड कर एंड आई थिंक इट इज़ द मोस्ट बेसिक वन ऑफ द मोस्ट बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स so what is demand function or what is demand curve demand function uh, shows the relationship between uh, quantity demanded and the uh, variables which are going to affect it so there are a number of variables which has its impact on uh, determining the level of demand so we can see the demand function here uh, this is qx is the quantity demanded which is the function of price of x price of y or the other goods uh, fashion weather population and income of the uh, individual or who is going to make the demand for the commodity x uh, but when uh, we uh, talk about uh, the demand curve it is not possible to show all the relationship or all the impacts of uh, these uh, uh, variables simultaneously so when we talk about the demand curve we only uh, take the most important variable that is price of x so briefly we write this uh, function as quantity of x is the function of price of x and we consider Uh, all other uh, variables which definitely has impact on determining the level of uh, um, commodity x but we uh, consider them constant and we only take this price of x so and in this figure uh, the relationship of this x and this price of x is uh, shown here we see uh, that uh, this is a line and it is a negatively sloping line which shows that the variables which we are going to talk have a negative relationship that one variable increases and the other other variable will decrease like uh, uh, like uh, x axis uh, y axis is uh, showing price uh, price of x and the x axis is is uh, showing the uh, quantity demanded of x now if the price of x goes up the quantity demanded will go down and if uh, the uh, 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 price of x comes down the quantity demanded will increase we can show uh, we can understand uh, this or Uh, uh by this uh, coordinates which we uh, obtain here like at this point the x uh, coordinate we get is 1 unit of x and the 50 units of price or the money uh likewise at different uh, points we get different coordinates of the uh, x and y as the uh, number of units increases we will see that the uh, amount of price per unit will decrease so there is a uh, inverse relationship or there is a trade off between quantity demanded and the uh, its price so uh, so it has a negative uh, relationship one more thing is that the uh, um, demand curve will never touch the any of the axis because if it uh, if the demand curve touches y axis say at point a it will show that uh, the individual is having all his uh, money uh, in his pocket and he is not buying any of the commodity at all and in the uh, uh, in reality it doesn't happen we have uh, we uh, we keep in a uh our house a mix of uh, money and commodity and if the demand curve touches the uh, x axis it will show that uh, the individual is uh, keeping all his money in the commodity form and he is not keeping any of his wealth in the cash form so this is uh, also a unrealistic uh, behavior of an of an individual and uh, in economics we uh, consider that a uh, individual is rational we don't talk about irrational person in economics so we have seen that the, uh, this is a linear function uh, in this video 
I am only talking about the linear function of the demand curve uh, and it is a straight line. Inverse relationship and uh, demand curve does not touch any of the axis. So, uh, I hope you uh, understand the basic um, concept of demand curve and if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe my channel. Thank you very much for watching my video. Thank you.